Hello, and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Astronauts. This is going to be a pretty intense one because this game is uh, very deep, super deep. I uh, will struggle to get through everything, but I'm going to try my best. And I think that uh, the best thing I can do for a game like this is really just to show you um, what you're actually going to be doing. There's a lot of back end stuff, and I'm going to miss a lot of it. Um, but I, you know, let's let's just like play the game as I believe uh, it is how it is fun, I suppose, what I'm enjoying about it. And uh, I may glance over some of the minutia, but uh, oh, the first thing I'm going to do is walk into void space. That's really solid. Um, let's see. OK, are we going to we're going to live? OK, cool. Uh, that's not what you do. So um, you start this game. Let me just start by saying uh, in a very novel way, you basically build out a resume for your character um, and you do so by spending time spending time as a resource so you spend a number of years building up your character's skills um, tr maybe trying to negate some of their uh, like inherent flaws and also trying to build up some money and then eventually buying a ship the ship you're offered is generally random um, and the one I was uh, offered was like truly god-awful um, it was like basically a tin can, not quite uh, the, uh, I believe it's called the, um, not the tombstone, but basically, uh, shoot, I'm going to forget. Basically, there's a, there's a type of ship that you can be offered that is literal death, and there's not really much way of surviving it. There is a way, of course, but, um, you know, that's that's for the advanced player. But anyway, we, we you're offered a random ship, then you buy it at an ex insane mortgage, and uh, then you go and salvage ships. Um, first illegally, then hopefully, if you're successful, legally. Uh, oop, this is not, that's not what I wanted at all. Hold on a second. So um, this, I want to say, I want to preface by saying this is like, in many ways, my ideal space game. I've wanted a game like this for ages. Um, not just because it gets a lot of the space right. It's got, uh, I believe it's called Newtonian physics for how you move the ship around. It feels pretty good, although I think that parts of it are incomplete. As of now, the game is still being worked on in early access. By the way, thank you very much, Dev, for the key. I should uh, mention that in full transparency. Um, yeah, some things are incomplete, but uh, it feels good. And I think that that's almost more important. So what I'm doing right now is I've just disconnected with uh, K-Leg. K-Leg is our major station. There's going to be other stations as part of a roadmap. I'll get in a little, get into that a little bit later. But um, for now, I'm just disconnecting from K-Leg and I'm going to go and seek one of these uh, question marks. These are derelict ships that I'm basically raiding. Uh, we're doing so illegally right now because I can't actually even afford a license. To do it legally, I'm trying to time my window here so I don't crash into Lucid Jack here. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna fly to this random derelict. Hopefully it uh, is empty. Hopefully it's um, got some stuff in it that we can use, salvage, uh, sell to the to basically a scrapyard for some funds, keep up with mortgage payments on our ship, and uh, and then eventually buy a license so that we can sell parts legally. Um, and then we don't have to worry about uh, dodging basically the space police So I am uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now. I'm basically uh, Accelerating now that uh, this guy has passed by to around 250 or you know, we could go up to 300 um, This is our velocity in relation to the thing that we have selected and then I'm gonna speed up time I'm keeping an eye on our BRG. That's just to make sure that we're still actually like aimed at the thing. Hold on, we don't want to be traveling at half speed. But you know, this is a 360 degree rotation and uh, we want to make sure that we're basically hovering between, you know, 360. Why isn't it changing? Oh, oh it's because I'm not rotating. That's why 360 to zero, because that means we're actually like pointed at the thing. This tells us our uh, ETA. This is what I mean by there's a lot of uh, like things going on in this game. We can see our RCS. We can see how much Delta V we have. I don't have a lot because I skimped on uh, refueling. So I'm going to be doing my best to basically um, not waste any. We've uh, 
we've kind of drifted away a little bit so let's go ahead and make sure actually we want to make sure our velocity i don't know what this i can't remember what this stands for oh we're, we're gonna be traveling way too fast vcrs is uh our kind of our lateral velocity and that ensures that uh you know if that's at around zero then we know that we're traveling directly towards our our target now we're basically uh, stood still here. I'm going to go ahead and hail the ship. This is more or less going to be a pointless affair because it's probably empty. Then we initiate a uncontrolled docking. Let's go ahead and dock and we can see the, the docking in this game is, is pretty fun. Um, it's like basically a mini game and it's very, very forgiving as far as I'm concerned. As speaking as someone who, have, who has tried to do docking in like Kerbal Space Program, this is super forgiving. Um, it basically operates on uh, two dimensions. Uh, so you don't have to wor worry about your like rotation or at least your Z rotation. You don't have to worry about your Z velocity. You're just worrying about your X and Y and trying to get close enough at a slow enough speed that you can dock safely. This may change in the in the future, but I don't need it to. I think it's good enough. You just want to have to. It's just something you have to make sure you don't mess up completely. Then uh, now that we're docked, we'll have a look around. So we're going to go ahead right now. I have a very basic kind of uh, uh, sealed suit. We can get a better suit, but that will cost must that'll cost us money. So right now, the only oxygen I have in my suit is whatever gets sealed into it when I put my helmet on. And we're going to be checking out the ship. We're looking, we're hoping for parts basically. But I'll take scrap. It's it's kind of pointless taking scrap because it really is like, um, like very very worthless. But I take it anyway because I'm really struggling for cash, as you can see. I wanted to give you an early game, early-ish game. I've actually been playing this, um, this campaign for a number of hours. Um, but I wanted to give you an early-ish perspective on how this game goes because uh, if you're interested in this game, you're gonna have to be uh, okay with a bit of grind. And the grind is really just kind of opening up gotcha ships of like, you know, what's inside, what can we take out, what can we salvage, um, and what can we sell. Now, I happen to know that turbo air pumps are uh, desired, a desired commodity by our ship, and we can sell them safely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm uninstalling this and it works, um, uninstalling things like we, we control the game via, uh, initiating commands. And then right now our main protagonist is going to, uh, launch those commands. They're, they're going to, to, you know, fulfill those commands. So it works kind of like RimWorld or, uh, any kind of, uh, colony sim that you might have played. We're going to go ahead and restore this. This turbo pump is loose, but it, it uh, fortunately it doesn't say damaged. If it says damaged, that means we're going to need extra parts to repair it. We could very well find those parts on the ship, but you know, I really don't want to have to deal with that. So then we're going to go and uh, I don't, no, this isn't going to fit in any pocket. So I'm dragging it onto our ship. You might notice our ship is like really cluttered. That's because I have a bunch of parts that I basically cannot sell yet until I am, uh, I have a, a more opportunities open to me. So that's a turbo air pump. Turbo air pumps are good. Uh, by the way, every single part that I salvage is one that I could potentially use. And in fact, this whole ship here, if I wanted to, I could spruce it up and actually use it as a ship. Um, but I'm not gonna do that for probably a long time or at least until I find uh, a ship that's, you know, gonna work that I think is, is worth salvaging. In that sense so i'm just picking up some uh, scrap cleans the place up a bit we got some disposable batteries i think these are probably worthless they have zero oh they have 100 percent charge actually um can we restore those oh yeah uh i even though i'm like um forgetting yeah we can restore those those are actually worth some money uh, I am struggling a little bit, but I actually do uh, appreciate the way kind of like the 
just the ground inventory works. If you played Neo Scavenger, this is uh, by the same devs, so like it works very similarly. But I actually really appreciate that the ground is represented as this like a grid. I think the only thing that I would like to see improved on it is to uh, see a representation of where our protagonist is, vaguely even, um, just to get an idea of like where I'm placing things when I place them down. But other than that, it's uh, it's actually really good. And um, I like I, I find it pretty intuitive to be honest. I know that it's been called like a fiddly, um, but I actually I find it works pretty well. So here's an air pump. I'm not sure we're experiencing mild hypercapnia, so we're gonna have to go in and get some more oxygen pretty soon. We have an air pump. I can't remember if air pumps are um, desired. I have a funny feeling they're not. Yeah, we have an air pump in our ship. If I would could have sold that, I would have. So it's only turbo air pumps right now that are valuable. Look at all this stuff. I do know that O2 canisters are valuable. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall that. Um, you can, I can get away at least with, um, I can get away with uh, suffering like moderate hypercapnia. I haven't noticed that it, it uh, gives our character any kind of prolonged effects. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, you know, take our risks. You can just kind of float around in space. How is the, what's the, it's, is it damaged? No, it's just loose. We can restore it. Let's go ahead and restore it. I'll just restore it on the spot. It's not even that damaged and we'll pick it up. And I actually have a good spot for uh, an O2 tank. I could use it. I don't know. It, it has a little bit of oxygen in it. I could, uh, you know, actually like connect it up to my ship. If I had some, I would need some more pipes. Do I have, is that what I need? I don't think I've found any pipes. I'm not sure um, if I, if you can do like pipes yet, if that's something I can do. Like I can do intake for N2 cans, but I'm not sure how they connect up to things yet. I'm still, I'm still learning, still learning. It could be that it's just conduit. Conduit it serves as both power and gas. I don't think that that works. I don't think, I think it's just electricity capable of transmitting power between shipboard components any engineering worth or so yeah it's just uh it's just power so i'm gonna go ahead and drop this o2 tank there um i'm not gonna bother installing it this will probably change in the future but right now there's a lot of forgiveness in like uh oh we have a crate here uh how parts kind of like you know land in your ship like if if I was looking for more realism, I would expect loose items to like fly around the ship and even like hurt my character. Um, but it doesn't, that doesn't seem to be a thing that can happen. Can we cut this open? Yeah, we can. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, a lot of it is flying around in space right now, but that doesn't matter. Pill, pill bottle. We'll grab a pill bottle. Um, we've got some scrap carbon, which I can stack. We've got a motor. Motors are actually quite valuable. We got a Kung Pao chicken. That's food. We can grab that. Uh, and we do have a crowbar. The crowbars actually, they can be worth quite a bit. Even just to me, um, they can be worth quite a bit. We could lose this uh, conduit jumper jack emergency cables. We could, honestly, we should just lose this, the crap. The the scrap steel, not the crap steel. The, the crap steel. <laughs> Um, we'll have a quick look around here because there seems to be some stuff. Uh, I think that small electronics are, are okay. I could start to like hoard this kind of stuff and then uh, use it to repair components in the future. Do we have any room? I guess I'll swap these. And I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess it, this, since there's, it won't let you just drop things in space. I, that doesn't really make sense. We should be able to jettison. Let me see here. If I grab this scrap uh, carbon fiber, can I put it somewhere? I can lose these knuckle dusters. I'm not sure why I would want knuckle dusters. I mean, I do know why. Um, it's because there is combat in this game. I have not yet ha had the opportunity to um, try that out. And I'm kind of grateful for that. Conduit. So far, it, I'm not seeing any like like pipes or anything like that, but I think we're done here. Um, I could like start ripping up the floorboards literally and then like restoring them and sell those. That is a, an actual option, but I think I'd rather move on. So let's go ahead and um, come over here. 
sorry, the game is paused. Uh, actually, so, well, now, uh, is our pressure? No, our pressure is not good. Gotta wait for our pressure to be okay. That's our O2 alarm letting me know that the uh, cabin is actually full of air. Let's go ahead and take our helmet off because, again, it only has as much oxygen as uh, is sealed into it. So if I'm flying around in space, then uh, I'm definitely not breathing like air. So go ahead and um, I like to do this even though there's not much point. Request clearance, undock. And then clamp. Share another story. We've got lots of stories to share. I'm not sure what that... Uh, how that's gonna there's a, a lot of like right now i think um kind of placeholders for mechanics because uh they're not yet built into the game and and some of those are basically like uh, a multitude of effects that our character can undergo like they can feel a lot of things they can feel inspired they can they can uh you know feel like yearning for socialization they can there's a ridiculous number of effects and it'll tell you like all of the stuff that your character is thinking feeling um, But I don't know if much of it has uh, any effect just yet But I could be wrong about that. There could be some stuff going on under the hood that I just don't fully understand just yet We can clear this warning. You don't actually have to listen to that. In fact, you can turn the warning off completely if you trust yourself I don't Okay, we're going to another derelict. I'm going to hail the ship. Initiate a docking. All right, here we go. And actually, uh, you'd want to hover to below 100 meters per second on the relational velocity, if that's how to say that. And then um, you can just like speed up time if you're bored. And then uh, slow time down and then I'll just slow down to a stop hit the dot of the clamps new derelict who uh, who you know who dis let's put our helmet on we've got I've already see a intake regulator that could be good Ooh, is that a, oh that's a co2 pressure alarm those are those are worth something now um, if you're wondering how I know what's worth stuff like it's it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but basically there's a scrapyard and they uh, have they're, they're they're very kind of like all over the place They'll want something, you know now they want something else later uh, And their wants and needs kind of change on the fly So that's kind of your option for selling you don't have a lot when you're starting out I'm gonna go ahead and restore this uh, pressure alarm. So it's worth more when I actually sell it and then this um I believe this will actually stack maybe no, it's not gonna stack uh, We have too much stuff I'm just gonna get rid of the scrap as I find like more and better stuff. I'll keep electronics for now uh, Move okay move over there and grab those electronics We have a vice vice Roy cigarette box Those could be worth something I suppose Hello, hello Yes, my my cat is saying hello um, So there's a turbo air pump here that is also worth something and it's also completely undamaged as far as I can tell It's like really actually very um, it, It's 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 very uh, Undamaged so that'll be that'll be nice. I don't even have to restore it We'll throw that on the floor somewhere <laughs> and like if it feels like very kind of um ramshackle right now that's because it definitely is and i kind of like that i actually that's that's something i really appreciate about this game um as it is right now is like when you're first starting uh it just feels like you you are not you do not have your shit together you are not okay <laughs> and i think that's pretty cool actually um i like like you can repair your ship you can keep it uh pretty pretty you know put together Make sure that uh, it's not gonna blow up on you um, and, and at least that you're getting air but like You know you you are not okay <laughs> And I think that's pretty fun So hold on let's uh, I might actually just put the normal airlock back in here cuz It's it's actually unsellable for now. So I'll just swap these 
we almost have like a resident evil style of uh, inventory system it, it feels kind of bad to get rid of like just lose this air pump if i really wanted to and in fact I, you know i might still is i could just rip up some floorboards and build like a, a like a, a faux floor around the ship and then put the uh the air pump somewhere i think i was if i was going to keep something though it would be that air tank the uh the o2 canister because that i know for sure i can sell so let's go ahead and get that sold uh, eventually you will have a crew you will actually get a crew you know bigger than yourself and uh, the game's gonna feel a little bit more, like similar to something like RimWorld um, where you actually control you know you you give them commands like hey build the ship maintain stuff um, go and do this and uh, they they will but then you're gonna have to pay them too you have to make sure you have to you can actually keep up with uh, monetary demands Okay, so let's, uh, now that we've got a few things, let's go ahead and, um, sorry, keep pausing, but oops, let's undock before I start moving. I, I do often forget that, believe it or not. Target is unresponsive, waiting for response. Oh, I have it paused, oops. <laughs> Clamps. Okay, um, go back to our nav. And we just want to back away. I like to back away a little bit and then uh, we can select K leg. Rotate so we're actually facing it. Stop at 360. And um, move towards it, making sure our v uh, VCRS is like basically at zero because that's our lateral movement. I, I don't know if lateral is the right word, but basically our side to side movement, like if we're moving sideways in relation to the uh, the target. This stuff is all really good, by the way. I, I actually really enjoy it. Like it's, it's pretty intuitive. You really don't have to spend a lot of time studying this. They do give you a manual. In fact, they give you a lot of things that I feel like do a lot of things to kind of intimidate you and make you feel like the game is a lot less straightforward than it is. IMO um, but we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward time get back to our ship there's gonna be there's gonna be more stuff right like um, it's not just this it's not just salvaging ships uh, there's I mean it's, it is a lot of salvaging ships you can take jobs on the station which kind of boil down to delivery jobs um, like you could deliver a high high uh, kind of quality goods but then you need to like power them with your ship so you have to make sure that you've, you your ship is like to spec um then there's like just kind of handing off like letters and stuff around the 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 station uh, like k leg port um those don't pay very well but they do pay better depending on how quickly you do them i've tried to do them like as quickly as possible and uh, i have found that i can never get a gold rating request docking clearance Go at times one docking. And uh, we're gonna line up. My ship has like very little RCS thrusters. Um, so like, and in fact, I'm pretty sure they're all, sorry, uh, they're all pointed in the same direction. So like I uh, very much turn in one direction a lot faster than the other. Okay, we're good there. I think we're docked. We're we're good. Um, let's put on our helmet. Let's turn down the music. I think I already turned it. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I like the music a lot, actually. Um, but it it can just like get loud all of a sudden. Um, all right. So then we're gonna go over here. Can't reach that location. I disagree. All right, so grab this O2 canister and we're gonna be selling things piece by piece because right now I'm just one person and I'm just carrying things off one by one. There is a bar, there's a way to set up zones and bartering. I, I wish that was like, like basically set up a zone that uh, holds all of the stuff that you want to sell. I wish that that was better explained and I couldn't find very many resources on it to be honest um but that is an option so i'm probably doing oh, whoops that's by whoops 
reset. Uh, I'm probably doing things very unoptimally. So we're going to sell that O2 canister. That's worth 100. Um, let's sell... We can't sell the power switch, but we can sell... See, the scrap aluminum is, like, worthless. Um, temporary blister seal kit is worth something. The battery EVA power pack designed for the Bur Bur Bingham EVA suits custom requirements. Powers air circulation. I might actually want to keep this for the future. That'll be something I, I want to buy. And if I'm buying it, I'm probably going to be spending a lot more than what they're giving me here. Sell this conduit. Uh, sell the pill bottle, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll sell the pill bottle. Um, sell this motor. You can see some things are worth more than others. Um, sell food. We could keep the crowbar. That's actually, uh, the condition wasn't great on the, uh, crowbar. Sell the mechanical parts. The electronic parts, uh, seem to be worth, uh, you know, a, a small amount. The fact that they stack makes them kind of worth it. So... We just got paid 300, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up. And we only sold one of the three oxygen canisters. So worth keeping uh, that in mind. Let's go ahead and grab another O2 canister. Honestly, even if I could figure out zones and how bartering with them works, uh, I, I, I probably wouldn't even use them because um, my, my ship is so badly designed right now that I can't even, like, <laughs> I can't even have a dedicated zone. I don't have enough space to dedicate to, like, parts, which is pretty funny. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this, um, turbo air pump. This is probably going to be the big ticket item. Um, I think I'll probably get a thousand for it. Because I recently sold very much the same thing. Yeah, 1200. Which is kind of nonsense because when I look in like the, the other wanted items, like what they have. Oh, is this the zone? Oh, there we go. That's how it works. Not wanted. Okay, so you, yeah, okay. That's, well, I'm glad I figured it out here, I suppose. Okay, so I guess any items that are in my zone that I've uh, that I've created myself, and I'll just, like, quickly show off how that works. There's my zone, uh, and I, like, dictated all of the, you know, how what that zone is, where it occupies. So I could, like, for instance, I, I don't know if you can, like, edit it. It would be nice if you could edit it, but I think I just have to create a new one. Um, so I would just, like make all of this space here or actually uh, even more all of this space here dedicated to bartering and i guess we can choose the color so i guess i'll make it green again we can make it hall not sure uh how that's gonna work yet maybe you can like set up a zone in a uh, scavenge like a, a derelict ship and then when you have a crew they'll actually go in and grab it for you that'd be kind of cool so, like, now that I have a proper zone set up, what happens now if I look at trade zone one? Doesn't seem to have anything more. Wait, is there... There is another turbo air pump in there? Hold on. Is there another turbo air pump hiding in here in this mess? Uh... Where? Oh, is that it? Oh, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, hold on. Let's uh, restore it. Because uh, you might have noticed they were only going to give me like 800 for it. And if I just take like two seconds to restore it, what happens? What's going to happen here? So if I go to sell, zone, turbo air pump, max, accept, exit. So does someone go and grab it for me? Or do, it just seems to disappear. Maybe in the future, they'll like there will be a system where like, Someone on the station will go and pick it up. That was uh, that was the case in Cosmo. Uh, it was it called Cosmo Nears, Cosmo Tears maybe. Is like when you bought or sold anything to a station, um, they would like have little space people like bring the stuff out to you. Um, so anyway, uh, I also I, I managed to get myself a rack. Like honestly, like I know this seems like absolute garbage. Like it's like how can you how can you stand to live like this? 
Um, it really is that meme. If you've got it in your head, it's in mine. But uh, like, I'm honestly really proud of this. I have a fusion reactor. As soon as I can afford a license, I can, and I'm getting pretty close. It's 5,000 for a license. Then I'll be able to sell this fusion reactor, which is almost like fully intact. And that'll be like somewhere in the like tens, uh, tens of thousands. Um, so that would be really good. But like the game's kind of, it is working against you because like uh, in addition to like having a mortgage, you also have to like uh, pay for your docking fee. So let's like look at this for a second. So uh, I'm going to have to pay like 450 just, just for having been docked to the station for like an hour to deal with this stuff. But then if I want stuff like RCS, which, you know, I do because that's how I fly my ship around and I want O2 because I, of course I do, I, you know, that's how I breathe. And if I'm running low on power, I'm going to go ahead and cheap out on this. Then, uh, you know, things start to add up and uh, look at that. Now I'm down to 1400. Doesn't that suck? That's that's bills, baby. And that's, uh, you know, how how it works. But um, the progression in this game is really satisfying. I I really like this game a lot. Um, it's it really does fulfill my uh, fantasy of like having like a little tin can, uh, maintaining it, repairing it, and even like eventually, you know, progressing enough that it I can build it out a little bit. The uh, ship customization this, in this game is very in depth. All of the parts, as I say, that you are salvaging off of derelicts are ones that you can like attach to your ship. So like I've got this cooler um, that would keep my ship cool, you know, in, in case it gets too hot because like that heat doesn't really have any way to regulate. Um, and eventually I could get, I, like I found this off a ship, I could get a heater as well, but then I have to have like basically a heat regulating uh, like extra little computer that uh, knows, you know, uh, hey, your, your ship is too hot or too cold, you know, activate the cooler kind of thing. Um, then like right now this part in the middle between my airlock and my actual ship that is just void space right now um, ideally what I would like to do is have an extra kind of like room in here in fact extend this out a little bit um, you know and have an airtight room so that I'm not just walking out through void space when I uh, enter a derelict ship and then this will be a spot where I actually put stuff I want to sell since you know I've, I've delegated a zone for bartering you know that would be kind of cool uh, that's like the next step after that uh, I wouldn't mind actually having a nuclear reactor or a fusion reactor for generating electricity um, And then I could also set up like what are these turbo pumps for the turbo pumps are uh, ones that basically flush a room With oxygen very very quickly or even pull out the oxygen very very quickly So that's basically like that would be where th that would be for this room in between where it's kind of sucking out all of the air and then and then also filling it up right away and that's like my air locker room so that's that's all stuff that you can actually do in this game which i think is just like really really cool it's pretty intuitive although i would recommend looking up a couple guides um i actually did learn i had to watch uh, splatter cats full transparency uh video a couple of times just to see like you know I, he had already like figured out everything and like built a full ship and has built like a few ships and like uh, here here's how you here's how you actually build a ship and uh it, it was pretty straightforward this is a, a prime game for like a couple of uh you know uh, very straightforward tutorials but uh, other than that i i really like this i'd almost like to do a i'd like to do a youtube series on this game because it, it it does actually build some cool narratives but anyway, I'm going to leave it here because uh, I want to keep this fairly short. I do want to um, underline a couple of things. This game is intimidating, but it's honestly not as bad as it looks. Spend a little bit of time with it and it's actually, uh, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, it is uh, unfinished. The, the things that are planned in this game are uh, deep space travel. So you'll actually be able to go to other places other than uh, just to highlight here for a second, other than this like little local system right now, it's just Kaleg and uh, the little, you know, uh, system here. It goes out for quite a bit, but you know, like that's that's what we're, we, we, what we've got so far. Then uh, if you keep going, uh, you can actually, let me see here. Uh, how do I do this quick zoom? Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Planetary. Inner, there we go. Then uh, we're, we've actually got on the um, roadmap for this game this is the ability to travel between like planets, which is really cool. And I think it even goes further as we could even travel between systems. So 
that's legit um i i'd be looking forward to something like that uh and then we've got like other things i don't know if um how like built up the mechanics for like piracy are but you know that could be a thing but right now like i the way i see it is um astronauts is to um ship salvaging that uh delta v rings of saturn was to space mining uh and that it basically very hyper focuses on one aspect of a space sim and i honestly think that if someone was going to sit down and make a new space sim right now that would be the way to do it is if you're going to make a space sim don't add like everything under the sun because it's already been done badly quite a few times right we've already got enough space sandboxes with like the trading the mining the piracy the bounty hunting all of that stuff all of those boxes get checked every time and because there's so many of them they always get checked kind of lukewarm i'm not talking about avorian that one's an exception that one did it quite well uh but a lot of games so i actually really appreciate when a space sim like astronauts and like delta v rings of saturn takes one aspect of a space sim and hyper focuses on it and does it really well so Anyway, astronauts, I really highly recommend this. Go check it out. There's a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.